Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a little bit of a pendant to my discussion of Mr. Slav Rostropovich's 10 best recordings. I'm going to give one of them away. I need to give one of them away. It's this one, the Tchaikovsky Ballet Suites with the Berlin Philharmonic here on, on DG Originals. And I have to give it away. Why? Well, because it's just the best recording of the Tchaikovsky's ballet, the Tchaikovsky Ballet Suites in existence, period. It just is, and so and so. I want to give it a separate, a separate little discussion, all of its own. If I haven't done it already, I don't think I did. Well, anyway, it, it just it just deserves to be given a plug, even if it's a second plug. Um, and the, these suites are Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, and the Nutcracker with the Berlin Philharmonic. Now, when Rostropovich made this recording, he had just been um, exiled from Russia. He was living in Paris with his wife. Um, he was recording Tosca because she had wanted to do Tosca and she wasn't able to do it in Russia. And they also went on to do Pique Dame, you know, the Queen of Spades. And he made a couple other recordings in Berlin. It wasn't very much. It really wasn't very much. I mean, then he jump ship to EMI, or maybe he was there first. I don't know what the order of it was. I don't care. I'm dropping this. But the fact of the matter is, he got up there with the Berlin Philharmonic, and they just went crazy, fabulously crazy on this music. And it was really interesting. It was really interesting to hear this in the depths of the Carrion Berlin era, which is what this was. I mean, the date was, let's see, 79, according to this. I mean, they were still under the thrall of Maestro von Karajan. They would played this music, they recorded it, they knew it. And so for Rostra Poets to come waltzing in, it was very interesting to see what would happen um, when he took over. And it's very interesting because, because he was also a string player. I mean, not even Karajan was that. I mean, he was a real string player, but he didn't just sit there and milk the cellos and make the strings do everything. He did. I mean, he worked with them considerably, and they sound fabulous. But he was really into the timbre of Tchaikovsky's music. He let the brass ring out. The woodwinds aren't always covered, as they often were with Karajan. The sonics for this were always very, very good. Maybe just a touch dry, but really, really vivid. The opening of Sleeping Beauty, I'll never forget when I first heard the record. You know, I mean, it was all beautiful, but the opening of Sleepy Beauty, just a bum, bum, ba, da, 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 bum, ba, da. I mean, you know, usually it's sort of like bum, bum, ba, da, da, bum, 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 bum. No, 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 no. This is the echt real deal. And you just know, you just know that Rostropovich was out there saying to all of these people, okay, now we're going to do it the Russian way. We're going to let them have it. And this is the kind of performance you always want from Russian artists of Russian music. That is, take no prisoners, you know, tons and tons of sound and fury, big, bold, red-blooded, passionate, but unfortunately, Russian orchestras are often not that great, except for Leningrad with Moravinsky. And, and even when they were, they had very interesting timbral characteristics, like those sort of watery French horns and, and, and laser beam trumpets that like peel the paint off the back of the room. And all of that, even if they didn't have that, um, they sounded like they did because Melodia's engineering was always so horrible. I mean, just absolutely horrible, awfully horrible. That, that you very seldom heard a Russian orchestra sound like what a real orchestra sounds like anywhere, never mind in Russia. So here we have the Berlin Philharmonic doing the Russian thing. Look at that swan thing on the cover. And it's a marvel. It's just a marvel. I mean, it's so beautiful. The waltzes have that wonderful lilt and the incredible richness of the string timbres. But in you, when you hear the, the dance of the, the, the little swans, I mean, just, just the, the flecks of color, the beautiful intonation of the winds, the bobbling little bassoons. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And the Nutcracker Suite. Oh, all the color of the Nutcracker Suite and a trepak that'll really get your, get your pulse racing. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal disc. And I, you know, I can't believe that somebody doesn't have it 
already that you oh, don't have it. Maybe you do. Maybe I'm just wasting my time. I don't know. All I do know is that there is no better recording of Tchaikovsky Ballet Suites than this one. So I want to give it all of the attention and love that it surely deserves over and over and over. It's fantastic. So keep on listening. Friends, thank you so much for joining me. Take care.